So let's look at loose connective tissue, or sometimes it's called areolar connect connective tissue, and think about its structure and its function. So loose connective tissue, as we said earlier, is, is very loosely put together, and its general function is to bind structures together. It's found beneath the skin. It's often found uh, connecting one tissue to the next. It's found between different uh, groups of muscle. So loose connective tissue is found in many places throughout the body, and it binds structures, tissues together. Let's look at, at its structure. So I'm going to use the blue dots to represent fibroblast. And so fibroblasts are the cells that secrete the matrix. And so what these fibroblasts will do uh, is they will secrete fibers into this liquid ground substance. And so the thin black fibers are the elastic fibers. And earlier we said that the elastic fibers are made out of a protein called elastin. And if they have a, a force applied to them, they'll stretch. But when you let them go, they'll recoil. And the recoil part is important. There are some things that you can stretch and let it go and it won't recoil. For example, if I had a piece of, of chewed chewing gum and I pulled it out and let it go, it would just say, stay stretched out. It wouldn't recoil. So elastic fibers recoil and that helps to give this tissue a lot of its important characteristics. The other thing that the fibroblasts secrete are collagenous fibers. And the collagenous fibers are the tough fibers and they're much thicker and they're made of a substance called collagen. Now, all these fibers are suspended in this liquid ground substance. So the collagenous fibers sort of balance out the elastic fibers. And if you, if you take your skin and you pull on your skin, you know that we well, wouldn't want to do this, but you'd have to exert a, a tremendous force in order to, to pull that skin completely away. And that's because those collagenous fibers in there are, are very tough and they help hold it all together. But at the same time, the elastic fibers give you that elastic nature and allows that tissue to uh, stretch to some extent. So loose connective tissue contains both collagenous fibers that make it, uh, make it very tough, but at the same time it has an elastic quality that allows it to stretch and recoil. So what we want to do next is look at a micrograph of loose connective tissue and you can see the very structures that we uh, just attempted to draw on this micrograph. For example, here is a, uh, a fibrocyte. At this point the fibers have already been secreted so we'll call them fibrocytes. And I'm just sort of filling some of these in uh, with the marker. So we have fibrocytes scattered throughout. You can see the fibrocytes are separated from one another. Uh, and then you see we have these elastic fibers and these are just the thin black lines that I'm tracing here. So here are some elastic fibers. And then the collagenous fibers are the thicker fibers that we see interspersed through here. And so they're the ones that look sort of like, like this. So loose connective tissue binds structures together. It's found between uh, muscles. It's found under the skin. It's found in the digestive system just deep to the mucosa. It actually is a major portion of a layer called the submucosa. Uh, it's a uh, very good tissue because it has an elastic quality, but it's also quite 